Welcome to some more Europa Universalis 4 with the Art of War DLC and the fact is that 42 mod installed. So, um, last time we basically kicked the Scottish in their bum and well, we seized all this juicy territory. And well, we've basically given Scotland its independence. Let's go Scottish Highlanders. Uh, let's see, it was a hard enough for. Uh, it was hard enough for Scottish monarchs to keep hold of the Highland tribes. No doubt that we, being viewed as invaders, will have quite a challenge f uh, of it. Wick gets Highland rebels for okay, quite a lot of time and rest, manpower modifier. So uh, we will now have to really deal with the rebellion. And uh, let's first get our money straight. So uh, we will need to kick out six units. So that's... Uh, means so this is four i mean uh, not this button but there. so you guys split in half you also so the uh, yes infantry there we are so we just chill in glasgow and we'll see how the because well um we've got plenty of manpower for now i mean we're almost capped uh, so that's not really the issue. Uh, so we will check the, let's see, the autonomy, the local autonomy map mode, of course. Oh, hey, uh, of course, we'll just uh, check it here. We've got quite a lot of people who think they are autonomous or not per se. So we'll uh, just start by clicking them down. Very, uh, let's see, the, these guys will remain uh, autonomous. That's, uh, that's, easier for us. So that's Gascogne or Gascogne, uh, Al Albert, Al Albre and uh, Lambour. Okay, so that's basically first. Then we go to Devon. Where the bloody hell is Devon? Mm, it's here. Um, so that's basically the whale, the whaleish people. Okay, and uh, we can't really kill the Scottish ones for autonomy, I suppose, because we already own that. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Um Okay, so it's basically here, I believe. Huh. Um, twenty percent with the zero 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 one. Okay. Well, so we'll just uh, keep it from here for now. Uh, perhaps we're gonna kill it here. Irish. Mm. No the autonomy. Sure. Okay, because uh, for now um, we wanna get our alliances straight as well. So we've got a finance uh, good, and now we'll get a little bit of problems. Uh, Imperial maintenance also uh, bugging us, of course, because we just uh, took out an entire country, uh, of course, with the just the, with, with the right causes Belli and such. That's not really the issue here. Uh, okay, however, we uh, need to make sure that we uh, yeah will uh, will flourish. And unfortunately for us, I believe the French are winning this battle a little bit. Because they are besieging Aragon, so they've got like two provinces or just one besieged, and I hope they lose it because one of uh, once once the once the French lose in the beginning and they lose all of their vessels, they are easy targets for us, and that's basically what we want. Okay, so uh, we've improved uh, as much as we can, and we don't have do not have a diplomat to send. It is unfortunate. However, I am. Questioning myself, is it worth it though? Let's see, Castilla. Who are your friends? So, Aragon is your friend? Okay. So, you might become friendly with Aragon as well. Why don't. <laughs> why? I don't know. Uh, or why not, I should say. Okay. Uh, so, our financial uh, thing of a barber. Let's see. Uh, the North Sea and London. Okay. Why are we not. Just collect uh, from. Uh, instead of Paris there we are let's collect from it that should increase our income very much okay and we've got a free military leader might as well just shove him up there sure and it's also a very bonus guy but hey why not I am aware that uh, the leaders will die uh, earlier if uh, you know if they are in service however one because we deal with rebellions a lot or we will deal with them a lot. Um, it's better to just, uh, yeah, just leave them there for the for the sake of. 
Okay, we cannot have a state marriage because you are rivals or rivalry toward us. Okay, then we will just become very friendly with your ally, Aragon. And why not? Okay, so throw that in the mix. Okay. It's also nice to see that they just throw in some additional music. I'm not really sure if this comes from the Art of War DLC because... Um, Else I've been playing and not really been listening to the music. It's just that now it's just ah, oh, just great. Just really helps with the immersion because you can find yourself playing this game for an entire day and then just be completely swallowed into the screen, even though you're not not a character. You just yeah. So uh, a court pa painter available. Lately we have been looking for painters uh, or artists to try to adequ adequately capture the glory of our king. Oh, course we should probably yeah uh, as it happens a painter offered his services to us just this morning so higher him we get prestige and we get national stability level ah, that's pretty nice and well i think we should just hire the bloke even though our king is not really that glorious but hey why not i mean honestly what kind of nun not this must have been you know uh yeah incest of some sort or certain several degrees of incest that just hits at the last generation, even though he was able to reproduce himself, so it's not too, too bad, I suppose. So, you're still fighting... Hmm. How are you... Okay, I suppose you're leaving the battlefield, it's just... Yeah, um... Okay, let's first... Military access, accept, and Henry... No, 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 no. Um... There is a new feature, luckily for us, um, with the art of war, and um, and that is that you can support rebels, and of course that already was present. It's just that um, okay, that we can only do it at uh, start at level five uh, administrative, I suppose. But um, once those rebels have broken free, you can you get a castle ally, and you can support that claim, and that is something way more entertaining than. Than just supporting the rebels because, quite frankly, a rebellion that's not really gonna be that big of a problem, is it? No, of course it not. Okay, stability increase. Excellent news. Our solid management of the realm has led to an increase in national stability. We gain one stability. Awesome. And we can have a second. Really, a second one? Huh. Interesting. We'll we'll take it. Even though it's a numnut as well. I mean, just look at them. You know, they've got Rob de Bruce. It's yeah, honestly, you can't really be Robert the Bruce. Ah, just for the historical value alone. Okay, how is it all going? Please go bad. I mean, yeah. Okay, you also want military access. And I believe that it is good to just give them military access. Because say they, uh, they are fighting here, so in a bigger stack is coming. They could just resort to my country. France cannot, uh, yeah... Yeah, they just can't really go in. And you are fighting Aiden as well as a crusade. Huh. Interesting. Uh, offer an alliance. Why not? Okay, do we now get like a bonus? You know, a friend of a friend is a friend. Okay, we gained the Castle's Belli. So the Alliance Castle's Belli. And this one is uh, also in... This one is in the mod. I know that for sure. And uh, we can join a war of an ally and that's actually something else i really liked of course it's uh it is a show superiority justification because it would be funny to just ally a random dude to just yeah get the same uh claim as they do full annexation or something that would be ridiculous however um i'm not really sure why you would do such a thing and i believe you had war with quite a lot of people you are fucked <laughs> How are you at war with... Oh, of course. Never mind. However, do you have an... You don't even have an ally? Nobody, nobody defends you? Who's, who's defender of the faith for the orthodox people? Um, right. Okay. Um, that's... Yeah. That's that's a problem for you, I guess. Uh, da -da -da. Is there anything else we should consider? We can't build anything. We don't need to core anything. We might want to reduce some autonomy. Not now. And we've got the Welsh people. Hmm. Okay. That is a little bit annoying. Uh, you. Do you have... Connor, Klein, Tomit and 
Brittany. Brittany? Brittany. Right. So that's my, my ally as well. That's, that's annoying. I must say. Um, but yeah. Not, not anything wrong with it though. Allied with Scotland. Hmm. Yeah. I could... Okay, we don't really want to trigger Scotland. And it's going to be a problem. Norway and Scotland. And you. Thomond. Excellent. Okay, you'll go first. <laughs> There's no denying that. Okay. Do we already have anything? A claim. We don't... No, we don't have a claim. Okay, so we just fabricate it ourselves. Um, we will go for... Which one is the most profitable? Okay, they're all the same. Hmm. Well, we can, of course, look. Free, free. Well, this is... Yeah. We'll go for dairy, just to, to fuck up your ass a little bit more. Because it will split this country in half and make it basically uh, very vulnerable for rebellions. Because a rebellion happens here, they... Yeah. Even if it is just a silly, a silly uh, peasants rebellion, so low taxes. Yeah, okay, the Highland Rebellion, trouble. Luckily for us, it's only a four stack. Mm. However, luckily for you, we will just send all. Um, wait, I don't really want a Regency. Okay, just don't go for him. Um, how many leaders can we hire, honestly? Is he free? We can have three leaders, interesting. Uh, should we do it though? Don't think think so. Let's uh, deal with the Highlander Rebellion, shall we? Let's see, are they worth going in? No, that's not. They'll die. Okay, there we are. And that's something I really, really like about uh, the Art of War uh, DLC. And that's basically a rebellion will pop up. And you, you, you'll see it coming. So here you can see unrest. You know, it's at 0%. But for now, it's just uh, it's an event. So, you know, the 0% doesn't really help. Uh, for instance, here, you've got, um, you've got a culture which is not accepted. And it leads to unrest. Um, in, this percent, in this case, we have 0% unrest. So let's see. Is there any... No, not really. Perhaps here. Also not. Interesting. Um, however, you can, you can see it coming. And... A rebellion will just happen once the unrest is at a high percentage. However, once you've dealt, once you've dealt with it, with the rebellion, the unrest goes to zero, and that's basically common sense because you just killed the whole rebellion and yeah, you know, set a warning to all the others. One, please do not rebel to against us. We've got cookies and such. You know, we are very persuasive with the sword or the lance or the gun. However, I, I find this DLC a very much to my liking. Okay, Influenza, that is rather unfortunate. Okay, how far with the creation? Okay, almost at 50%. Good. Uh -huh. uh, you are still at war with the retard. Mm. Okay, show me France. Okay, France is definitely losing. And I should... Let's see, how many relationships can we enter into? your own country three out of five okay they hate us right now i mean rejected the lines of course it, it stings a little bit mm, okay we've got aragon already we'll uh we'll send in for us yeah sure a marriage we'll, uh, we'll support you flanders i really like flanders so why not in uh, all cases and that means that we basically have formed a small trinity so we basically got the southern flank the northern flank and okay we've been discovered unfortunately oh well offer alliance as well okay we've now got that one going however you are the war hmm. honestly i am tempted to just join the war we should be able to we should be called into the war though i mean we've got our nice little stack and here's another feature i really love you can now just automatically transport your units anywhere oh it's genius there we go we've got now the island the alliance one uh it's it's wow it's just yeah a genius because before it was a, ha a hassle and a half honestly you know you had to select your fleet you then have to do it all yourself so suppress the rebels mm -hmm. in the lambour where in Basque. Where the fine fuck is the Basque? 
Uh, oh wait, the Basque Rebels in Lambour. My bad. Lambour. Also not present. Oh, Labour. Labour, not Lambour. Labour. Okay. Um, how many? Eight. And where? Labour, that's right over here. Uh, we'll just wait for this event to trigger. Da -da 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 -da. So, of course, so the ongoing oppressions and expo exploitations. Okay, uh, the ruler of Scotland has died without leaving their direct heir. They will join in a union with Brittany unless we contest it. If we contest it, we will create a succession war over Scotland. Uh, back down, he will kill us. Will we? He's got a six against... 16 Ah, oh, tempted uh, You know what, we'll just back down And now you are leading in personal union with and We should really get friendly towards each other, Scotland, really Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're still waiting That's interesting, really interesting Okay, and Scotland is no longer a valid rival for England That's, uh, I don't know, it's not really a problem Okay, rivalry costs Belli, that's unfortunately unfortunate. Um, oh, we don't really have anyone. Are we really that much stronger? Huh, okay, well, Norway, of course. Because fuck Norway. And France, of course, because fuck France. And no, we will not fuck you, Spain. Honestly, to God. Okay, we've gained against Tiro again. They hold provinces we are dear. And there we are. Uh... Okay, 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 okay. But the only problem I find with um, the automatic transport is that it finds the closest... It's, it, it's, it's almost perfect. Because, honestly, if I were doing it myself, I would march my con my army all the way down. All the way to, to, uh, to Cornwall and, you know, that way. Okay, uh, I accidentally ha made it happen. Oh well, uh, we almost have an army ready. So, of course, we'll just do it ourselves a little bit quicker. Go, 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 quick. Uh, be about it. However, it, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's a very welcome change. Honestly, it would go almost insane without it, without this feature, honestly. Okay. Uh, almost a Gormal. And, you know, you would do it like this, you know, attach and then go fleet, go. Okay, the commander... Armagnac has been discovered fabricated claims on our provinces in Labour. Okay, that's unfortunately for us. That's very unfortunate for us. How's the war going, France? Okay, still in a... Okay, here we are. Let's crush this rebellion as well. Also, let me just uh, increase the fleet with a couple of more ships. Can we afford it? We most certainly can. Let's see, that's six... We go then go to a 10 stack. We are working with 16 stack. Uh, it's not really worth to get that many more ships though. Opposing military schooling offenses our strategy. Defense. Uh, I don't have time for this. Okay. Uh, our generals are engaging in a heated debate about our military strategy. This debate has now become public and is threatening the stability of our armed forces. Of course, we go for the offense. I mean, why not? <laughs> I mean, we are an offensive empire, so we might as well just go dick first. Why not? Okay. Uh, huh? Okay, Aiden has been crusaded, I believe. Have you not? Okay. Conquer the last crusader bastion. Oh, that's interesting. But yeah, crusade. That's it's a nice... Touch, I must say. Um, hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Here we are. Declare war. Show superiority alliance. So we can't, of course, ask people because attitude. Okay, that, that's the only reason. Attitude. Okay, show superiority. War goals. Show superiority. Okay, Our allies at war. We can join them. So we can now join the ally. Okay. Uh, war goal is to show superiority, get bonus war score from winning battles. Winning 8% of the battles will give you a ticking war score. Okay, and they're allied to a dick ton of people. Mm -hmm. So, uh, should we do it? Worst case scenario, we might lose something. However, they are already losing. So we'll just join. 
Okay, we don't join him. Huh, fascinating. No problem, though. We'll just kick some ass. I mean, we've got plenty of manpower to do so. And it is our right. Our birthright. Okay, here we are. And uh, let's see. Foie, foie, you are a retreating one, aren't you? And there we go. We just stack wipe the living fuck out of him. Okay. Uh, Pip states. Dearest friend. So, yeah, we're just doing as we may go. And this will basically give us some more prestige. However, what I want to ha uh, see happen is basically the division of... Mm, yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay, replenish, gentlemen. Replenish in our own uh, city. So, uh, what I want to do is basically rip out of Burgundy. Burgundy is uh, basically... So, it's one of his vassals. It is his biggest vassal. And with that, you know, if I support Burgundy, Burgundy's independence, hells yeah, France will die slowly. Okay, please tell me we will win this one. Okay, the Highland Rebellion again. For Of course, there's only four guys. Uh, how far are our ships? Almost ready to be built. Uh, really? So it's Bogomilist. Uh, heretics. Interesting. Okay, this is becoming a little bit of a problem. Uh, we are still winning, though. So uh, it's of the most... Oh, shite. Um, okay, the plight of the Western Isles. Uh, suffers in a war, but those provinces which lie in the path of the enemy suffer worst. Okay, whatever is necessary, we'll provide it. We've got money. How much money are we actually making? Oh, quite a lot. Uh, sure. This is a problem. You don't want... Oh, wait. Hanoi and Holland. They are on our side. I don't know. Yes, they are. Friendly. Excellent. So, say we were to lose this one. They will just pick up the fight where we left off. Excellent. Uh, replenish. And let's see. How far are we? Did we already get the ticking war score? Excellent. Excellent. Uh, okay. You do want military access. Sure. Granted by the... Majestic powers of England. Uh, okay, okay, okay. How much forces do they have? Hmm, they do outnumber us a little bit. Uh, okay, let's see. So we'll just do the same thing as they did for us. We can just join their war even. Wow. Kill, kill, kill. That's what we are here for. We'll just support all their war efforts. Jesus Christ. Christ. Uh, we will not take anything because that would be uh, not rude, but just retarded. Um, one of the things you really wanna 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 uh, keep in mind is uh, aggressive expansion, and not only that, there's also another feature. That I need to look that one up. It's like um, oh, I can't even remember. However, it's somewhere here, I believe. It's uh, something. Well, I'll, 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 I'll nation 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 system statistic and then uh, something something I don't know it was pretty much a big deal in the other mod or the other version of the mod and uh, it, it, it will be a big deal now believe you me okay uh, so they're still chilling let's see how our ships do how many ships do they have okay only one that's good uh, should we suppress the rebellion now I believe so so we'll just send half, I suppose that is sufficient. And we'll just chill here and support the uh, the French war effort. So this is, uh, however, this is the end of uh, the second episode. Uh, I'm going to take a break now and start recording the third one in a jippy. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. And please, uh, the only thing I ask for is a comment. Just your opinion about this series, about my commenting. And from there on, you can uh, you know make up your own mind. But yeah, I want interaction. Damn it! Uh, let let your voice speak, and I will make sure you will be heard. So thanks for watching, and bye.